Hello guys, I'm Eunice Harnsey Block IB Biology HL class. This time I'm going to introduce the ecology research method that I used in the previous lab, which is Simpson Diversity Index. Simpson Diversity Index is related to biodiversity, population, and ecosystem because the index itself is the calculation of the diversity of the diversity of populations in an ecosystem. For those who are not familiar with such a method, Simpson Diversity Index, let me give you brief information about it. Simpson Diversity Index is a common and simple mathematical method to measure the species diversity in a community. It is often used to quantify the biodiversity of a habitat. It explains the number of population as well as the abundance of each species. Due to Simpson's easy steps to measure the biodiversity, it is frequently used in ecology. Here are the steps of Simpson Diversity Index. First, use a random sampling technique to search for organisms in an ecosystem. Random sampling techniques include quadrants and transects. Then, identify each of the organisms found. This is the step to characterize the living organisms to get a more accurate species richness. Third, to third, Count the total number of individuals of each species and organize the data in a table to recognize more easily later. later. Lastly, calculate the index with Simpson Diversity Index. Simpson Diversity Index has an equation to quantify the biodiversity of an ecosystem. Here is the equation. As the letter indicates, D represents biodiversity of species in an ecosystem. This value ranges from 0 to 1 because the measure is represented as, the, as a decimal. A capitalized N means the total number of organisms of all species found. A small N is the number of individuals of particular species. The Roman le letter of E represents the sum. The deliberate process of getting the measurement of from a measurement from Simpson Diversity Index will be discussed in a sample question, so don't be hurry, wait a minute. Simpson Diversity Index is frequently used and suitable when you need to measure species rich, richness in an ecosystem. It is easy to compare the biodiversities of two locations with different conditions. If there is no different species in an area, there is no significant meaning for the calculation. Relevant assessment statements could be de these two. These can be explained as I go through sample, sample questions. G.3.1 Calculate Simpson Diversity Index for two local communities. G.3.2 Analyze the biodiversity of the two local communities using the simple index. Okay, let's have a sample question to make sure that you, you understand the concept thoroughly. I'm going to use the data I collected for the lab assignment. I collected the soil based on the weather the plants are represent whether plants are present or absent. I used a big ruler to make a square on the ground for 30 cm length and dig out 10 cm deep. This is location A in which there are very living plants. Here's location B where there are a lot of plants around. I just found four kinds of species overall, so let me show you the pictures of each of them. Insect A is ants. They're, they're easily found in both locations. This is insect B which tended to hide under soil. Insect C had the same color as the soil, so it is not detectable in the picture very well, but you will find a small insect inside the red box that I drew. Lastly, in the insect D is a small black insect that flees very quickly. I categorize each of 
I categorize each species and count the number of them, and this is a table that organizes all my raw data. Let's take each step to get the final diversity index together. First, use the raw data, which is n values, to solve n multiplied by n minus 1. The sum of small n is a capitalized n value and minus and minus 1 from the big n values. The sum of n multiplied by n minus 1 is the value of the denominator and the multiplication of the capitalized n and n minus 1 is the value of the numerator. Then divide numerator by the denominator. Here we go. The diversity index is calculated as the diversity of the area with the persons is percent of plants is bigger than that of the area with the absence of plants. So there are more types and number of inverter rate when there are more plants. I'm sure DP biology question about Simpson diversity index is a piece of cake for you guys because you have learned it by me. Ha 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 ha. The possible DP question 1. State and explain each values of the equation of Simpson diversity index. Oh wow, I have never seen any questions that are as easy as this one. Here's the answer. I have talked about it above, so let's just skip it. The possible DP question 2. This is a data This is a data that Golden collected in his garden. Calculate the diversity of flowers and explain the richness of them. The process of getting the answer is the same as that of the sample question. The correct answer is approximately 0.46. There are a large number of one species of flowers and five different types. In this area, the species of flowers are pretty rich and diverse as the result shows. Thank you for listening.